This is MSJ Chem, and in the next video in topic 7, we'll be looking at Le Chatelier's principle. So here we have Le Chatelier's principle. When a system at equilibrium is subjected to a change, the system will respond to minimize the effect of the change. The changes that we'll be looking at are changes in concentration, pressure, temperature, and the addition of a catalyst. Let's start with changes in concentration. In this reaction, hydrogen reacts with iodine to form hydrogen iodide. So that's the forward reaction. In the reverse reaction, hydrogen iodide decomposes to form iodine and hydrogen. So let's look at the effect of adding hydrogen gas to this system at equilibrium. If we add hydrogen gas to the system at equilibrium, the equilibrium will shift to the right. That's the product side. So by adding hydrogen, the equilibrium shifts to the right to use up the added hydrogen. If we make changes in concentration, then the value of Kc does not change. Next, we'll have a look at the effect of adding hydrogen iodide to the system at equilibrium. So by adding hydrogen iodide, the equilibrium will shift to the left to use up the added hydrogen iodide. And once again, by making changes in concentration, the value of Kc doesn't change. Next, we'll have a look at changes in pressure. This is for reactions where all the species are in the gaseous state. Here we have the equation for the Haber process, in which nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to form ammonia in the forward reaction, and in the reverse reaction, ammonia decomposes to form hydrogen and nitrogen. If changes are made to a system where all the species are present in the gaseous state, then we have to take into account the number of moles of gas in the reactants and the products. On the reactant side, we have four moles of gas. In the product side, we have two moles of gas. So that means on the reactant side, we have more gaseous molecules, and on the product side, we have less gaseous molecules. Let's have a look at the effect of increasing the pressure to this system at equilibrium. When pressure is increased, the equilibrium will shift to the right because there are fewer gaseous molecules on the product side, which lowers the pressure of the system. And the final point, by changing the pressure of the system, the value of Kc does not change. In some questions, you may be asked to predict the effect on the yield of the products. If the equilibrium shifts to the right, then the yield of the ammonia will increase. Let's have a look at one more example of a change in pressure. If pressure is decreased, the equilibrium will shift to the left because there are more gaseous molecules on the reactant side, which increases the pressure of the system. Once again, the value of Kc does not change and the yield of ammonia decreases. Moving on to changes in temperature. Here's a very important point. A change in temperature will change the value of the equilibrium constant Kc because the value of Kc is temperature dependent. So let's look at the equation for the Haber process. The forward reaction is exothermic. The enthalpy change is negative 92.4 kilojoules per mole. If the forward reaction is exothermic, the reverse reaction is endothermic and the enthalpy change for the reverse reaction is positive 92.4 kilojoules per mole. So for any reaction, if the forward reaction is exothermic, the reverse reaction is endothermic. So let's look at the effect of increasing the temperature in the Haber process. The system will absorb the extra heat, favoring the reverse reaction because it is endothermic. So by increasing the temperature, the extra heat will be absorbed by the reverse reaction because it's endothermic, and the yield of ammonia will decrease. Next, the effect of decreasing the temperature. The system will produce heat favoring the forward reaction because it is exothermic, and the yield of ammonia will increase. So by decreasing the temperature, the equilibrium shifts to the right because the forward reaction is exothermic. And finally, we look at the effect of temperature on the value of Kc. For an exothermic reaction, increasing the temperature shifts the equilibrium to the left, the reactant side, and decreases the value of Kc. 
So here we have the equation for the Haber process. The forward reaction is exothermic. So by increasing the temperature, the equilibrium will shift to the left and the value of Kc will decrease. Next, for an endothermic reaction, increasing the temperature shifts the equilibrium to the right, the product side, and increases the value of Kc. Here we have the reaction of hydrogen with carbon dioxide to form water and carbon monoxide. The change in enthalpy for this reaction is positive 41 kilojoules per mole, which means it's an endothermic reaction. So by increasing the temperature, the equilibrium will shift to the right, that's the product side, and the value of Kc will increase. Next, we'll have a look at the effect of adding a catalyst. An iron catalyst is used in the Haber process. A catalyst increases the rate of the forward and reverse reactions equally. A catalyst does not change the position of equilibrium or the value of Kc. However, a catalyst allows equilibrium to be reached more quickly. Let's finish with a summary. So we have the change to the system at equilibrium, the change in the position of equilibrium, and the change in the value of Kc. So let's start with increased concentration of reactants, the equilibrium will shift to the right. If we increase the concentration of the products, the equilibrium will shift to the left. If we decrease the concentration of the reactants, the equilibrium will shift to the left. And if we decrease the concentration of the products, the equilibrium will shift to the right. And as you can see, all of these changes have no effect on the value of Kc. Moving on to a change in pressure. An increase in pressure, the equilibrium will shift to the side with fewer gaseous molecules. If we decrease the pressure, the equilibrium will shift to the side with more gaseous molecules. And a change in the pressure with the same number of gaseous molecules in the reactants and the products has no change in the position of equilibrium. And once again, all of these changes have no effect on the value of Kc. And lastly, changes in temperature. So forward reaction exothermic, if you increase the temperature, the equilibrium will shift to the left and the value of Kc will decrease. If you decrease the temperature, the equilibrium will shift to the right and the value of Kc will increase. If the forward reaction is endothermic, an increase in temperature will shift the equilibrium to the right and the value of Kc will increase. And if the temperature decreases, the equilibrium will shift to the left and the value of Kc will decrease. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.